guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Guess what? We're going to be working on author composition notebooks again today. But first, I wanted to show you guys a new digital and I created this and I hope this is what you guys were kind of wanting. I've had many of you ask about a prayer or faith-based junk journal type kit. Um, I did release the prayer journal kit. Um, which a lot of you guys have already purchased this and it's sized to where you can cut it down and it will fit perfectly into an altered composition notebook. I've got two more printed out because I plan on making um, a prayer journal um, that's for me to keep. The one that I showed you guys is one I, I made for somebody. But um, this is the kit that um, I just, it, it's already in my Etsy. And I'm just going to flip through it real quick for you guys. I've just printed it on regular paper. So it's not even on cardstock. It's 27 pages. Um, so this one here, this one is like a uh, distressed watercolor scene of the sun. And it says, be still and know. And it has Psalms 4610. This one is just like a beach type theme. And it says, he will calm the troubled waters. This one is a lighthouse theme, and it says, Let your light so shine before all men. And then I have another lighthouse one. It's a little different, and it says, A lighthouse set upon a hill. And then another beach scene, and it says, Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. And then this one says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. And then this one is, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27, 1. And then this one says, God will meet you where you are in order to take you where he wants you to go. And this one says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11, 1. This one says, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And I love this one. This is one of my favorite sayings. Sometimes he calms the storm and sometimes he calms me. Most of the time he ends up calming me. And then this one says, faith can move mountains. And then faith tells me that no matter what lies ahead of me, God is already there. And then this one says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. And then there's a few pages where it's just the scene. So this is like that um, sunset, the uh, beach scene. I have the lighthouse, there's the other lighthouse, the tree with the birds, the mountain, another mountain and lake, another one of the trees, and then this one is like the winter brook or something, and then that mountain scene. And then I have one page in here that's like journal cards. Um, I just included those. And then I have two pages of bookmarks. So I think it's a total of 10 bookmarks. And so this one says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. This one says, If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened, but God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. And then this one says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And this one says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. And then this one is, therefore, confess your sins to each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. And then this one is, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. 
And this one is without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. And this one is do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the last one is ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. And so this kit is now available in my Etsy. And since I am talking about this faith kit, I'm going to take the opportunity to brag about one of the main things that made me go ahead and create this. Guys, how many of you have seen me promote the video of my second daughter, the redhead? Uh, she's a singer. She's a teacher. She's been trying to have her own baby for 12 years. She adopted Cameron, who was her son, and I'm telling you that child couldn't be any more hers than anything because he acts and looks just like her. So she adopted him. But guys, my daughter's pregnant, and she's due in December. That's what made me go ahead and create all of this today. Guys, I have been on cloud nine. I'm, I can't even tell you guys. I am just I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. If anybody deserves a baby, my daughter deserves a baby. She's, got, she's already the best little mommy there is. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away. You know, God, he, he still amazes me. All right. So this was the prayer journal that I did. And if you notice, I've got the ribbon that goes behind it. And that's my closure. And so I think I want to do something like that today so that you guys can see how I've done that. Now, um, the other last night, I think it was, I sat down on the couch with my husband. We were, um, I don't even know what he, he had on the TV because I don't, I don't really watch it. I just, it's noise in the background and that's all I really do. And I covered, I had 14 or 15 more of these journals that I just went ahead and covered them all and glued all the pages together. Um, so I've got a whole stack of them right ready to go. Um, so that part is done. So let me go ahead and let's get out a paper pad. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to pick out what I want my cover to be. Now, these are the ribbons that I've got to choose from today. These are the ones that I have right here at me. So I want to kind of keep that in mind whenever I am picking out my paper. And I'm not really sure which one I want to do. I mean, y'all know, my I always go with like the same thing because I, I love pinks and I love florals. So that's pretty much a given for me. And this paper pad has all of that. What about this? If I've done the green and I put the, oh, look at that, guys. Okay, so let's do this for our cover. Ugh, I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up because that's that front page is not doing good. Now, what do I want to do on the back? Do I want to do that same pattern on the back? Let's see if I can find like a no, I don't want that. I mean, I'd be happy with something green on the back, but no, that's maps. Let's do this on the back. Okay. So we've got this picked out. And so normally I don't, normally, you know, I don't like to measure my, um, my covers and stuff because it, it's just too much for me. Um, but I do need to measure this one because of putting the lace behind it, the ribbon. And I'm actually wanting this part to be showing. So we're going to see how this works. I'm praying I can get my measurement halfway right. Okay, so it looks like it needs to be to go to the edge of that. 
a little past six and three quarters. So what I want to do, I'm going to get this. Let me get this open. I hope you guys can see. Let me see if I can zoom out a little more. I don't know if that really helped much, but just got so much stuff on my desk. Okay, so I want about six and three quarters here because this is the main image I'm wanting. So I'm going to cut it just a hair bigger than what I said. So I'm going to really cut it closer to seven. Okay. Now for my height, I need it to be like nine and three quarters. And I'm thinking, let me pull this little spot off there because it's kind of tattered. But I think I want my nine and three quarters to be right there. I think that's what I want. I hope I've cut this right. Oh, I'm going to cry if I didn't. Did I cut it right? Y'all, it looks like I might have done it. Okay. So my back needs to be about the same. So make sure I've got it going the right direction. And I'm going to cut this right at seven. And then nine and three quarters. Y'all know I don't like measuring or not to do these ultra composition notebooks, but I really needed to measure on this one. Okay, so the next thing I need to do before I go doing anything else, that's going to be my cover. And I can zoom you guys back in a little bit now. That's going to be my cover. And I'm thinking this darker ribbon here. I don't know. Hmm. See, this is why I need it. I really need to do a live because I don't know which one. They're all beautiful. Let's see if I can get this open without tearing up my ribbon. I'm not sure which one I want to do. I'm thinking this one. So let's go with that. So let me roll this up and put this out of the way. Now what I want to do is I want to um, get a piece of ribbon that's quite a bit longer than what I actually need. Because I can always cut the ribbon off. But I can't add more to it once I get this covered. So I am going to cut it right here. All right. <clears throat> So the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to lay this down for a minute and I'm going to just kind of line this up. Uh, and I'm just going to pull my ribbon straight just like that. And I've got my ribbon straight and I'm going to get this back over center kind of where I can work with it. And I'm just going to move it over like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, because right now what I need to do is just pull the um, tape off of here or the backing of the tape off so that's what I'm going to do right now and then we will attach the ribbon before we put the paper on And I actually bought another closure that I'm going to try, but I, um, I didn't want to do it on this one yet. But I am going to try a different closure, and I will probably just do it on here with you guys. And that way, if it works, it works. If it don't, well, it'll not work together. And look at y'all. Look at my glue. Look at that. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this. Just like I normally would. And I'm just putting, you now I've got the tape all the way to the edge, so it's not a huge deal. But, okay, now I'm just going to get 
you can measure what you think to be the center of your book or you can just lay it down what you think is center and I just laid it down on what I think is center right there and so now I'm going to also put some glue on top of that ribbon because I'm about to be putting this on top of that so I don't want to move my ribbon I want to try and line this up as best as I possibly can and it looks like I got it wow okay so now I am just going to take my bone folder and just smooth that out it looks like I missed a little bit right there but that's not a big deal that will be perfectly fine so now I've just flipped it over and we're going to do the same exact thing on the back so just pull that tape backing off and somebody asked in uh, one of the comments I know at least one person asked if I will be selling any of these and the answer is yes um, I mean, you know, I use these things a ton. I use at least one a month. Um, but because I've been doing this series, I've, I'm actually made more than what I actually need. So um, I will be selling some of these. Um, so if you see one that I've created that you would be interested in, let me know. Okay, so let's fold this ribbon over and I'm trying to keep it even like it is on the front there and then I'm just going to put glue on top of that ribbon and then I just need to put this down and I don't know which way is up and we're going to go with it like that and hope we're right all right so I'm going to try and line this up Ah, I knew it was going to do that. I felt it kind of pulling to stick whenever, but it's not bad. It's just a little tiny bit on the bottom that I can see, and I will be doing the um, sanding on it, so it'll be fine. And I can pull it down some. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there's our closure. That's how you do the closure like that. So now what we need to do, I am going to trim this up. Uh, I'm just going to try and do it without the ruler because I really can't get my ruler right there. So I'm just taking my craft knife. I just want to be very careful not to cut my book or cut the ribbon. Let's see if I've done it. All right, I think we've done all right there. So I need to do the same thing back here. And it's not as much back here, but I still need to cut some off. Don't cut the ribbon, don't cut the ribbon. All right, let's see. I'm scared. I'm afraid I'm going to cut the ribbon. All right. Look at it. It's so pretty. Let me see if I can chompy the corners. These things sometimes don't want to work. I'm just rounding the corners. So it's rounded like the book. One more. Okay. Now we need to cover our inside and we will have to measure the inside too because of having that ribbon there. Oh, and you know what? I'm not going to do it right now, but I think we're going to put some velvet trim right there. I need to buy some more because I'd like to have some about that color. 
All right, so for the inside, the inside covers, I'm not sure what I want. I'm hoping it will just kind of like jump out at me when I see it. But so far, no. Okay, this. Or do I have two of those? Why do I not have two of these? I guess we may have to do that. Or this. Let's do this. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So let's measure our inside because it needs to be a little different because we're, we're not counting this now. But I don't want it to go all the way over All right, anybody seen what I done with my ruler? It's probably right in front of my face. Yep. Oh, guys. All right, so I know I need 9.75 high. And I need, I can probably do 7.5. So let's just go ahead. Let me try and zoom you guys out again. All right, so I know I need 9.75 high. So let's just go ahead and right, let's go ahead and cut it at what did I say? Seven and a half. Let's cut it at seven and a half first. So right there, and then 9.75. All right, and let's hope we got that right. Let's see. I think we've done pretty decent, guys. All right, so let's get this glued down. Y'all know I don't like measuring these things. I, I prefer to do the, the no measure. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This tape backing is not wanting to come off. Uh-uh. Can you come and off, buddy? There we go. I don't know why it's wanting to stick down. That's crazy. But we got it. I won. Yeah, so some of them, when I'm doing them, I actually have to measure because it would be difficult. I mean, I probably could do it without measuring and do it the way I done, I've done the others, but I'm afraid I'd be more prone to cutting my ribbon. So I think I'm choosing the lesser of the two evils and measuring the paper instead. So let's go ahead and put some glue on this. And I'm not going to take it all the way to the spine, but I can take it pretty close on this one, the way it's, the seam is, the um, spine. All right, so now I just need to make sure I'm putting it in the right direction. I want to make sure that I get it lined up. And it looks like I did. Wow. I'm a little impressed with myself right there, y'all. I'm a little impressed. Look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I guess I can do that every now and then. But I wouldn't be counting on it for the next time. Because I can't... Oh my goodness, it was driving me crazy. Oh, so I'm recording this Monday, April the 8th, and we just got through the solar eclipse. So how many of you guys got to witness that? I did. We were, I think we had 75% totality. So it got like dusky dark for just a few minutes. And we had a nice little cool breeze. And um, it was pretty neat. Pretty neat. 
All right, so let's glue this and let's hope I can get this as good as I did that other, the other one, because I've done good on it. If I say so myself, I've done good on it. So let's hope I can. Ugh. All right, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. <sighs> Guys, whoa. Maybe I need to go buy a lottery ticket or something because I've done pretty good on that one too. All right, let's round the corners so that it will match. And I need to round the back corners here. Okay, that looks pretty good if I say so myself. Look at it. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I don't know if this is one that I didn't, that I missed this page on when I was folding or gluing together. I know some of them I did, and look at that. Now, how am I going to fix that? Hmm. Huh. We're going to have to figure something out on that, because I don't like that. Yep, we got to figure something out. Because I don't like that. So maybe I did get all of these glued. Okay, so this one's one I must have got all the pages glued properly because I've got this one. I do have some tape on a couple of pages to do a divider. So, okay. Well, I guess that's what we will do. But at least I don't have to measure the dividers. So do we want to stick with that green theme? Or do we want to do something different? I'm almost thinking I want to kind of stick with that green theme because all of my journals are normally a pink color. You know, that's normally the base color is pink because I know I love pink. So I'm thinking we may go outside of the norm and have this one a green theme. All right, that's what we're doing. All right, so let's get this tape off. This is some thin score tape, and I do not like it. This is the first time I use this thin of stuff, and I will not buy this thin stuff again. It was too, too finicky to work with, and I just don't, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm getting good coverage. And I, I mean, I may be, but I just don't feel like I am because of how flimsy it felt. But I've got a few rolls of it and I'm going to use it. But I will not be purchasing it again. So let's go ahead and get that tape back off if I can. Hmm. All right, one more piece on this side. I don't like this thin tape. Nope, not at all. And some of you guys may actually like using the thin tape. So, you know, don't just go by what I say because, you know, we all have different things that we like or dislike about something. But my preference is not to use that. But I'm okay since I'm using glue as well. All right, so I'm just going to take one of these, make sure it's going the right direction, and I'm just going to lay it down. And I think that looks pretty decent. And so now let's see if we can get it cut. Without cutting everything else. I just want to make sure I don't cut my ribbon. If I get that cut. Yay! Alright, let's try and cut this top now. Let's see what we can do. Alright. 
and it looks like I got my tape over the top of it a little bit on the here so I can cut that off. Maybe. There we go. Oh Lord, y'all, this is where I get in trouble when I get the scissors. Ugh. I get scared. I've done okay. If y'all watched one of the other videos, y'all would see where I cut the mess out of my paper. But it's okay, we fixed it, and I think it looks pretty cute. So now let's do this side. Oh, and I am working on a digital. That would be one that you would print, and I'm working on it to where it's sized for an altered composition notebook. So what I'm working on is having like the front and back covers, the inside covers, and the tab pages or divider pages, whatever you call them, as well as some pockets. And uh, maybe even I'm trying to work on some flips and stuff that I can include that would be, you know, simple for you guys to um, do. So let me know what you guys think about that. So let's see if we can get this one lined up. Uh, which way? Okay, it goes that way. All right, there we go. Let's see. We done it. All right, let's see if we can get it trimmed up. Okay, this is a different color. I mean, it's still got pink in it, because we all know I have to have pink in it somewhere, but this is different color than what I normally do. Y'all got to admit that, because y'all know normally it's going to be pink. But sometimes it's good to change a little bit. Not a whole lot. It's still flowers, so I'm all right. Y'all know I love flowers and I love pink. All right, so now let's put this out of the way and let's go ahead and trim around these corners while I've got it right here. Okay, and then I know I have another. Yep, there we go. So let's work on this. I didn't put a piece on the bottom. I know what I'll do. Let me go ahead and get this off. I must have went to sleep while I was doing that one. Because I totally missed that. Goodness gracious of God. Leave it to me. I went to sleep. All right, is there any tape in that? No. No, of course not. Of course not. Hmm. I'm just going to grab a piece of this then. And we're going to just put it right down there on the bottom. It's a little wider than what's on the page, which is good, for, in my opinion. I don't like that thin stuff. But I gotta use it. That'd be a waste of money if I didn't. So now let's put our glue down. Okay. And let's put our paper down. Oh, which way does it go? I don't know. We're putting it down this way. I may be putting it down upside down. I think I probably did. Oh, well. It's not that obvious, though, because that one is a little difficult. So I'm debating on um, whether to make the pockets and stuff off camera. I know several of you have asked. I don't know what we may do maybe the pockets and tucks for this one we may do on camera tomorrow and then that way you guys can see you know if it's something that you would want to see again 
because it all depends I, I don't know there's no real way I just kind of get I just kind of sat down with paper and just kind of start um I don't know just seeing what I have the scraps for and that's kind of what I go with it's you know whatever scraps I have kind of dictates what um pockets I do and um so if you guys we might do that on this one is so that way you guys can see my thought process of how I figure out what you know pockets to put or what tucks to put or anything like that um so we may do that tomorrow and then we'll go from there to figure out if we're going to do it on the rest of them but we'll do it on that one at least or this one I should say I'm just trying to get that back off the right here but it's not wanting to come off but I'm going to win maybe I won one more piece okay so let's glue this page down. And then I see I got to cut off the bottom. Mm. I probably, this may be a mess, but I'm afraid if I don't cut it off now, it'll be hard for me to see the um, other one once I put it on there to know where the bottom is. But I actually done pretty decent. So we're good. So let's put some glue on this. And the biggest thing I need to do is make sure I have the paper going the same direction on this side as I do the other side, even if it's upside down, because at least that way they'd both be going the same direction. Okay, I think this is the way. I don't know. But at least maybe they'd be going the same direction, so it, it would look intentional if it is upside down. All right, let's see how that is. I may try to cut this with my scissors. No, I don't know. I'm bad with scissors. Y'all know that. I'm very bad with scissors. How I ended up having to put washi on a few pages. Somebody wasn't paying attention with scissors. But I think I'm... I think I've done pretty decent. All right, let's round those corners. Maybe. All right, well, there we go. I think I'm liking it, guys. What do you think? So, um, tomorrow we will come back. I'm not going to do anything off camera. I don't know. I may know. Somebody's asked about the washi tape too. What I may do is do a lot of the washi tape off camera and then come back and do some on camera so that you guys can see it. But um, you're not watching me do the entire book in washi tape. I think that would probably be the best thing to do. Um, and then I will do the, um, we'll figure out the pockets and tucks and stuff. We will do all of that together on camera. Um, so I am going to go ahead and end the video. And I'm going to get started with the washi tape on the edge of the pages. And I will leave some of them not done. So that way... Um, I can show you guys how I do my washi tape and then tomorrow we will do the pockets and tucks we'll get working on those but yeah look how cute this is look and it's just very simple I mean and you could like make this crazy if you wanted to so there we go all right guys let me know what you think I will talk to you all tomorrow bye guys